Okay, we're still working pretty aggressively on this uh, drips of lacquer that some customizer worked on there. Water with one drop of detergent. Oak block of wood with smoothed edges to come in. You gotta take the high point here, this drip. Okay, now as it dries, it grabs too much. I don't like that. I don't want too much friction. I just want a little friction. Is that I can control? See how that sounds? Smooth. Starting to grab, I'm going to clean up the paper. Just Of course, you know, all sandpaper loads up, as you know, while you use it. You can keep throwing it away and taking new pieces or putting it. This is a serious drip here. It's probably as bad a drip as any of them. This one right here. You can see that the high point of the drip is being Sand it off, and the uh, that's the beauty of using a block. See that paint's very thin down there. Got a couple of peek through spots. I can touch those up, but I certainly don't want to get down into the wood. I just want that. I'm just repairing a lacquer drip. Best progress, I think, for what this job is. Sometimes I'll go longer strokes. Once I hear it's grabbing, grabbing a little bit too much. Now, if you start getting like, oh, I'm sick of this, and my arm's tired, and I don't want to do this anymore, and stop, go do something else for a while, I'll take a break, sit down, rest. This restoration work is not something to be doing when you're in that, oh, I'm in a rush mood, or I'm pissed, or I'm unhappy, or whatever the thing is, it's going, it's a job to be doing when you're relaxed and calm and just try and get your body into as comfortable a position as you can. You see I'm leaning on my elbow. I'm coming in. I'm working this. See, it's disappearing, isn't it? That lower one. That lower 
sector right here. Now that'll look pretty good, see? It's a little bit off, but this is the one that's bad. So you can see, you can see change in a fairly short time, not that it's all gone, but I mean, at least I can see, hey, this is working. I know I'll be going down and getting water off this part, so I don't need to get the bottom part all finished off. I guess really our front here right now is that line right there. So we can we we have gone quite a few inches. I'm going to stop soon, but not quite. I'd like to get this guy here out. case more than any other part of the work just requires a certain patience. Uh, and now my nemesis, my problem area starts to disappear. Look, as if by magic you just kind of get to the point where it's gone. of it because I'm going to be using a hand polished thing. So what you can do is come in and you can see that the area marked between this and this is now clean. No more drips. Okay. And the new area now for work is from here to here. So there are now two partitions remaining in this polish out, and I have to say I just couldn't be happier with what I'm looking at right now. Now that one I could get a little better, and so improved it. Yeah. Okay, now I know I have to work from here to here and from here to here. Go wash the sandpaper, wipe the floor off, go get a compound and clean wall. Because you'd be surprised the drips do travel. They go a long way. I want those off that wall. Now, so you can see there's some little dots on that wall. <laughs> That's the mess from uh, doing this job, and I have just the thing for it here. I have uh, I wash my gloves too because. Now I'm cleaning. I couldn't be happier. I mean, when I started, the whole side was screwed up. And I wasn't really sure, you know, if I could just give it a minute to kind of 
kind of let go. ready to go. But what a wonderful sight to see this much done. We'll back up again here for the review. And I always try to take some time to look at the work and enjoy it, you know, the progress and to feel good about it. You know, all the way from here, all the way from to here is repaired. And, uh, Pretty darn nicely, too. That is not... I'm hesitant to... I can always come back in and do more, you know? And if I'm going to have a problem with a peek through of the wood, it's going to be in this area. So I think even though I could make this better, the cover sticks over to here anyway. You wouldn't see it. So now I just have... What do we have? 12 inches to go. And this portion here, mm, it'd be very difficult to be messing around with. So I've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got about 17 more drippy things. And uh, you might be interested just for fun to see. What happens if I hit it with the final polish now? I'm not really done because I'm going to use compounds to smooth the surface a little more. But this is Corey's Satin Sheen Satin Finish Cleaner and Conditioner for Satin Finishes on all Pianos. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, hit this paint area with this so you can see. I'll shake it up. I'd enjoy having a squirter for this too. Let me go get one somewhere. This is not the way it's going to look when it's done because I've still got to come in with some compounds, but I just want you to see, you know, when it's cleaned up a little bit, what are we looking at? And uh, how about we come off the thing? Let's go take a look. Okay. So, paint's still there, kind of smooth. Looking pretty clean, and then yuck. That's what this job is all about, getting rid of yuck. But yuck is gone from here. And then we'll go ahead and polish out the rest of the case and match it all by hand polishing. It'll be a smoother, much smoother when it's compounded. And I'm going to have some little problems here, that's a fact, but nothing like what it looked like before.